Hey guys, Sam here. I want to direct your attention to this behemoth strapped to my hip here. Get it all in its full glory. Let's see. Yes, that is the Zero Tolerance Strider collaboration piece, the ZT9, which I guess is really um, uh, the greatest and bestest M9 uh, replacement as far as a bayonet goes, because this bayonet can actually cut stuff. And here it is in all its full glory. I'm going to set this thing down here next to the scale, so I mean a ruler, so you can see uh, how big this thing actually is. Um, move that a little bit. Because the perspective's off. Okay. Now it's, you're looking at about um, six and a quarter inches of edge, and I start my edge right here at the serrations where it's actually sharp. Um, you're looking at 7.5 inches of total penetrating length um, as far as um, you know how far you can sink this puppy into something and uh, going up all the way to the guard into a soft target uh, will not be a problem um, it weighs about one and a quarter pounds which um, it's about the same weight as the William Woods Blade Works uh, Titan folder. Um, this is a little easier to carry actually because the weight is distributed among uh, or uh, along a, a larger um, uh, chunk of material. Um, this is a quarter inch thick S30V, and let's see, you can see the markings right there. S30V serial number zero six five five. It's a ZT9, and there's four X's because this is a blem. Um, I cannot really find uh, where the blemish on this was. Um, it is, uh, and the way um, Kershaw ZT, um, uh, the quality control behind their products is immaculate, and uh, I, I think any anything they consider a blem is purely um, cosmetic. And I don't think they would let the knife leave the factory if they doubted its performance in any way. Um, let's see, that's full tang. Uh, got OD green uh, machine G10 slabs. There's your uh, disconnector for um, removing it from uh, uh, the bayonet lug on, uh, if you were to fix this to a weapon. This will fix onto, um, I believe, Mossberg 590 shotgun. Um, and, and the entire family of um, black rifles, you know, the stoner design, uh, the AR-15, M16, M4, um, all the variants that have a bayonet lug. Uh, you will need to have the uh, full-length uh, barrel, I think it's a 16 and a half, for this to uh, be effectively used. That means um, it doesn't really work too well on M4s. Uh, but you get the, the maximum effect out of it out of full size M16 as far as uh, um, working length uh, in regards to uh, the termination of the muzzle. That is, uh, it goes over the muzzle crown and very solid, no play at all. Uh, the edge will shave and it, it won't shave as easily as say something ground from one eighth stock but this is one quarter and it's a fucking bayonet what do you expect i mean uh i, I was amazed that you could shave it all with this thing um the balance point is right at the guard area uh yeah right right behind the guard it does some pretty mean uh, chops, and there's no doubt you can baton it with this knife. Um, you could probably uh, split firewood with it. But all in all, after owning this for about two days, I'm liking it. And I, I now understand why they advise a, at least like a 7-inch blade for a decent-sized fighting knife. And... 
when giving uh, flesh compression its due, um, an average guy my size, you know, and weight, um, I, I have no doubt at all that I could probably run this through somebody, you know, having a point protruding on the opposite edge, or you know, on the opposite side, whatever. Um, pretty gory stuff to think about, but um, uh, that's something, you know, we that's a place we must go. Uh, as an infantryman, I trained with a bayonet briefly in Fort Benning, doing uh, the, the um, what's it called, um, the, uh, the bayonet course with the tire men, um, <clears throat> and really never saw any use for a bayonet other than that. Uh, we were never issued any, and especially with um, the M4s and their size, they're not really meant to be a bayonet-capable rifle, but as a standalone knife, I, I like this. I would put it on par with um, some of the Chris Reeve one-pieces I've handled. It's great in reverse grip. Great in hammer grip. Saber, not so much because you got that lug there. But um, I like how it's got a choil here for choking up. Uh, I don't know, I can't really say anything bad about this blade. Except uh, maybe it would be cooler if they had made uh, the scales in black G10. But, hey, that, that's cool. Um, I got this knife for, or in a trade, for my Reese Weiland Titanium fixed blade. Uh, I want to thank uh, Blade Forums member uh, Jay Goo uh, for um, uh, trading me this knife for my Reese. And, uh, you know, he's a good guy. And... Uh, the, the, the deal went very smooth. He's in Malaysia, so that's where uh, I waited about almost two weeks for this to get here. But um, I couldn't be happier. So let's uh, fuck around with this thing on this tree here. You can see I've uh, used this as a slashing, you know, training dummy for various things. But um, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, chop that knot right out. See? And I don't see any uh, micro-cracking or what's it called, a uh, chipping, uh, as the people that like to talk bad on S30V say. Um, it's very stout. Let's see, good old overhand. All right, now let's pry this out. Cool, good. Do another one just for fuck sake. Ah, uh, yeah. That actually hurt. But, there it is. Big fucking knife. Probably uh, the biggest knife I own right now. And I'm going to try to everyday carry this thing for a month straight. And that means, I mean, there ain't no way to conceal this bastard. And the most comfortable way is doing the drop leg. I carried it with the, the drop leg extension removed. Just using um, the nylon on the back, and it's very, um, very uh, cumbersome that way. But carrying it this way, not so much. Kind of moves with you, and instead of hanging up on things. So um, definitely tying down is a must um, when you're carrying something this size. Uh, I haven't worn this in public lately, or yet, you know, to any degree, so I have yet to judge uh, the sheeple reaction to it, but I think that'll be entertaining. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see uh, what, what it kind of looks like it, especially because this is totally legal to carry in California, as is any fixed blade, uh, as long as it's not concealed. So, there you have it, guys. My... Uh, my my new uh, my newest toy, and uh, you know if they say uh, if, if if 2012 is going to happen, well this is what I'm going to have on me. Um, this is my poor man's uh, Walking Dead Daryl knife. You know Daryl carries the Boosie Tim Gemini, but um, this is uh, the next best thing in my opinion. Very fucking uh, solid fighting knife. All right, later guys.